Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing insurance issues associated with Thai OA retirement visas. Thought of making this video after reading a recent comment on our channel, quoting directly, the main difference with older retirees 70 plus is trying to get an OA from home country because of restrictive insurance age limits. Yeah. Insurance age limits can be a real concern uh, for those who are looking to get the OA retirement visa. And we've definitely had situations where we've needed to try to deal with that phenomenon for many of our clients. Oftentimes it can be rectified by getting them into O retirement visa status. That's not a foregone conclusion. That's oftentimes up to the discretion of the interviewing immigration officer here in Thailand, but that may be one way of dealing with it. So yeah, unfortunately, as for all intents and purposes, insurance is very difficult to the point of impossible to get for those that attain a certain age. They just get old, so old, not, not trying to be denigrating, they just get old and don't, they can no longer get insurance. The insurance companies will not, will not even cover them. So it, it is a problem. Again, the solution may be utilizing a different visa category. Uh, again, Thailand elite visa, that's a good example of a type of visa which does not require insurance as of the present time. Uh, I would have said Thai LTR visas, but they do have, a, have, a, have an insurance component. So the thing to take away from this video is, yeah, it's understandable that OA retirement visas have this issue associated with insurance, and then that creates an issue for those who are over a certain age.